On Capitol Hill today, there were new questions about other federal agents, good old boys and racism. The Senate Judiciary Committee called the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms director on the carpet to explain about his agent's involvement in a very controversial social gathering. Here's ABC's John Cochran. The first charges of racism came with the discovery of these 1990 pictures of the annual Good Old Boy Roundup of law enforcement officers, a rowdy, beer-soaked affair with racist signs. The pictures were supplied by Alabama militiamen. Their motives are suspect because some have a long-standing grudge against ATF agents who enforce gun laws. But the pictures were nonetheless strong evidence, and now a Senate committee investigating the roundups says it has also received affidavits from unnamed witnesses making other charges, including a gang rape. You are aware that there are allegations floating around about criminal behavior relative to women. Administration officials promised to look into those charges, but the focus was still on racism. The head of the ATF told of a racist skit at one roundup. In this one skit, a person dressed as a Klansman, uh, another person... Ku Klux Klansman. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Another person with um, a blackened face, um, and it, it the Ku Klux Klansman was committed sodomy on that particular individual. A black agent who attended this year's roundup said he saw no racist symbols, but this racist hunting license was distributed. The former ATF agent who organized the roundups said blacks are welcome. But a black agent who was never invited to the roundup said the organizer, Gene Reitmeyer, once insulted him and other black agents. I overheard Mr. Reitmeyer say, quote, you were born trash, you will live trash, and you will die trash. Some senators said a racist culture at the ATF has further damaged an already wounded agency. Well, you talk to a lot of good law enforcement people, current and present, off the record, and they wonder whether or not the ATF has outlived its usefulness. The damage from the roundups could go beyond just public relations. Federal and state prosecutors will also decide whether criminal charges should be filed. John Cochran, ABC News, Capitol Hill. One of the notes from Capitol Hill, the spending bill that eliminates $16 billion that had already been appropriated